Ah, so we're back at the house today, and today that door is getting ripped out. See that door? I'm gonna attempt to take it out and board it up. I don't know how this will go, but I'm hoping it's not too bad. Let's have a bash. But before we crack on with that, I just wanted to show you exactly why we really bought this property. It's not because of the house, not even one tiny little bit. It's because of this. The sun rises every morning just over the back of those hills and we've got a completely unobstructed view of it. This place is beautiful and no, it doesn't actually flood, although it does look like it probably would. That is Wigtown and that is where my mother, that's where Craig and where Ashley's mother lives. So this is the perfect place for us to be. We're close enough to the village but far enough away to have our own little oasis. So hopefully you guys will see why I'm so excited to be able to start this journey. Anyway, let's get back to ripping that door out. It's so warm. Getting there though, I'm really trying not to break the glasses to get it out. Breaking things apart is easy though. Putting them back together I don't have a problem. Let's go. Put it back up now. Happy days. Okay, so the plan is now to build a frame for here, slot it in, pin it in, and then drywall it. Find these, believe it or not, these pheasant carriers. So the person who used to own this property used to rear pheasants as a living, so commercially. And there are loads of these in the workshop. So I've stolen some to be my workshop. My workshop? My workbench. So now I'm gonna crack on and see if I can't build a frame for this. Wish me luck. And so comes the moment of truth. Don't mind if it's slightly small, but it better not be too big. Too big, we have an issue. Ha 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 ha! 
I didn't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> I can't believe I got that the first time. So we just gotta put some little checks in here. But down here, pretty much perfect. Look at that, like a glove. I am so happy and shocked that that is going in. Right, I'm going to get it totally fixed then. Chalked. Make sure I fill in these gaps. The little screws are holding it really tight and strong. And yeah, get the drywall up. And by the way, anyone that knows me knows that I like to get things done quickly. So when it comes to this project, I really want to take my time. I really want to do it perfectly because all I'm thinking about during all of this is my boys and my daughter and that this is for their future as well as mine. I'm trying to do it as well as possible. I'm trying. I'm just going to put the screws in quickly, okay? I'll see you when I've done that. Okay, drywall, plasterboard, whatever you want to call it, it's time to cover up this hole. And yes, I've gone for little baby sheets because I don't want to carry big massive ones all by myself. I don't want these chalky filled things to make lines so that hopefully I'll get them straight. But I think you have to kind of fill it and shake it up. You can tell I'm a professional, can't you? <laughs> Moving on. Working. You can tell how new I am to this when every tool comes out of a packet and not a toolbox. And I'm not sure how to get them open. Ah. Bingo. Okay, I said it was professional. Maybe I'm semi professional. So fast forward about an hour, my battery in the GoPro was dead, and we've got the drywall up here completely. I think I've done a fairly decent job. And round the other side, we are nearly finished. It's all up, but I haven't quite finished putting on the screws. Assuming, tell me in the comments guys, I'm assuming this crack, this void can be filled up when the plasters come. I ain't doing the plastering myself. That would end in disaster. What do you reckon? Tell me in the comments, will this be filled up or not? About an inch thick, maybe half an inch to an inch thick. <sighs> anyway, let's finish getting these screws in. I actually snapped this bit of drywall. So behind here there's a crack, and instead of putting a new piece in, I've actually put a bit of wood down the back just to brace it. So I'm gonna put a screw in there just to make sure it can't move at all. And that'll about do it. Now I've just got to tidy up and that's me finished. I realise this episode and the last one was probably a little bit boring for you guys, but I'm going to treat this channel as a vlog of my life and our life here at Lake Kirkland, which is the name of this little hobby farm or whatever you want to call it. So guys, if you haven't done it, subscribe to keep up with the happenings and going-ons and the progress of this renovation. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers guys. Out.